Choosing a venue for your meeting or event is one of the most important decisions. We invite you to go beyond the ballroom and get inspired with these unique venues for unforgettable experiences. Whether you're hosting a fundraiser, dinner, or VIP cocktail party, we hope to spark your creativity with some fun and unique spots. See where your group can gather next on this Spotlight episode of Destination Everywhere, unique venues for unforgettable experiences. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Destination Everywhere. I'm Andy McNeil, along with Todd Bloworth, and this is a Spotlight episode focusing on unique venues for unforgettable experiences, and we've got a lot of them. We really had to pare this down, but over the years when we're doing events, we do lots of great ideas off-site what we call offsite venues. And we really try to drum up really creative ideas. And so here are some of our favorites. Yeah, there's uh, you know, the trying to think out of the box, everybody's been there, done that, you know, especially for, for people that do uh, participate in a lot of corporate activities. Uh, but one is, uh, and it, you can always make it a unique experience, are museums and art galleries. You know, they're big open spaces. It gives, um, uh, you know, the venue a chance to, you know, showcase an artist or, you know, uh, artwork. And uh, there's minimal decor needed. You don't have to pay a lot. You know, you're pretty much just going to have catering and um and seating you know yeah and then another great thing is a lot of these venues already have partnerships with caterers so they can just handle everything for you but you know all that unique uh, all the unique things inside the art gallery museum really can help spark curiosity and conversations and then they can also bring experts in um on the different uh the different subject matter and actually give uh brief uh tours during your event so a great idea a great idea Another one I love are rooftops and rooftops can be on top of hotels, on apartment complexes. I mean, they, they're everywhere, government buildings over the years. Um, so really ask the CVB there what unique venues they have, but they're great for a VIP cocktail party or a welcoming event or any social portion of the event. And it is a great stop if you're going somewhere and then headed to maybe a show or something with your group. So they really provide, um, a, a great uh, historical advantage, and also um, a lot of times, great views of the cityscape, um, and a lot, and they can be in an intimate setting as well. So we love rooftops, and they can be really anywhere, right, Todd? Absolutely. Um, yeah, just pick the right time of year, and, and be sure the weather's clear. But uh, rooftops are amazing. You know, the views, the views already there for you. Um, another thing that we like, you know, we're, it, it kind of piggybacks on rooftops, but uh, warehouses and parking garages, you're seeing a lot of these old industrial places uh, kind of turn and become a little more uh, uh, progressive in terms of uh, uh, gentrification. Yeah, and if you need a big, big space, right, you can put right. a tent on top of a parking garage that has an amazing view. Airport hangers are great as well. Oh, airport hangers are wonderful, but they're just, they're large spaces. And if you bring in the right decor and the right lighting, you know, you can do anything. It's just a huge open space and, and you always have protection of the weather. You know, you're, you're not going to have the elements whacking at you. And, um, and, and just the idea of a parking garage, taking a floor of a parking garage, you know, adds so many things uh, that, you know, you do get protection from the elements. You've got all of the space below it. You can separate it into different areas and, um, you know, have, you know, uh, and, and you have plenty dancing. of parking and you have plenty of parking. And you've got plenty of parking. So something we also love to do is find uh, unique speakeasies um, in the different cities that we go to. And people just love a surprise. They love being able to know that they they're kind of in on the secret. So for those of you who don't know what a speakeasy is, it is a um, back from prohibition days where they had a secret bar or venue where people went during um, prohibition to have a drink. So there's lots of them that, I mean, I've gone into uh, telephone booths and gone down an elevator. I've gone, I've gone behind um, a library uh, shelf. I've gone downstairs of an apartment. Um, lots the of bad ones. ways to get there. The bed uh, yeah, that was up out in LA. Then, yeah, that was in, out in LA. I mean, just really, really cool things because, you know, if you're going to call yourself a speakeasy, you want to be able to throw out that shock and awe, you know, they, it, people just absolutely love to be surprised. And, um, and, and they, they're, they're just conversation pieces as well. Awesome. Uh, 
another one is, you know, utilize the parks of your city. You know, we've got some of the most beautiful, you know, open spaces in, in, in cities, outside of cities. These parks are just gorgeous and, and utilize them. Many of them already have amphitheaters, covered areas for parties. And again, if the, the, the weather is the right time of year and, and, and take advantage of it. People love to be outside and, and uh, you know, really sky's your limit with decor as again, you know. Yeah, and like some, of big, uh, some of the big, some of the big, bigger parks around um, uh, the country, Lincoln Park in Chicago, Central Park in New York City. You can actually rent out through their city, um, through their city park programs, um, different areas, and can be a really, really special experience, especially for uh, people who are coming from outside the city. And a lot of times it can be quite affordable. All right, here's one we've done a lot, ball, ballpark stadiums and other sports venues, Todd. Well, you know what? I, I just think they're, they're, they're not utilized year round. So you can always get um, availability if you plan ahead. Across the country, these huge venues are available to rent for you know different things. If you want to be on the floor, they usually have food and beverage venues available inside of them. We've done things at uh, racetracks um, when, Absolutely. when they're not racing. Yeah, but it can, be, it can actually be when the event's happening or when the event's not happening, depending on what you're looking to do. So uh, consider these large venues. They can, they can be fantastic, all these sporting venues. Something else that's very unique, you know, uh, depending on what city you're in, are, are wineries and breweries. They're such great places to have events. Uh, usually they're quite large. They all like have certain, you know, space set aside for, for different sizes and different activities. Um, and, and, you know, like if you're talking about a craft beer, if you're in Pittsburgh, you really get kind of a local feel if you're in one of those spots. If you're somewhere else in New England or if you're out in Napa, um, you've got all the wineries. So uh, they're fun. They incorporate, you know, kind of a working, uh, a working space uh, with the breweries and the, and the distilleries and the wineries. They're just, uh, uh, you have tastings, you, you cater in food. It's wonderful. Yeah. And um, wineries are, are popping up everywhere in the most non-traditional cities. So make sure you check those out. And they're always looking to um, showcase their wares. And they, it's a great uh, giveaway. You can, you can give the uh, wine or the beer as a, as a parting gift as a guest. Finally, this is one we've done several times, really, really unique, is having an event, a, a cocktail party or dinner um, uh, on stage at a theater to utilize the backdrop and maximize the, uh, the costuming and all those things and bring the actors out as guests, as singers. Uh, this is a great way and a very unique way to show off the city and its cultural, cultural heritage. And again, that's something you could do while there's a show happening. Or you can do it when the theater is closed and just, you know, create an atmosphere of, of theater, you know, do the uh, just you, you just theme it out. And uh, it's always great. It gives someone a chance to be on the stage and look out at the audience, even though they're sitting at a table having dinner. It's, a, it's just a wonderful feeling. Yeah, that's great. So those are our unique venues for unforgettable experiences. So thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Uh, this spotlight episode of Destination Everywhere. So please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review the show on your preferred podcast app or visit us at www.destination-everywhere.com. And please connect with us on Facebook and Instagram at Destination Everywhere Podcast. So thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Safe travels. Now.